Hey, what's dropping? Let's find out today what you got to have and, and pop in and listen to. It's 1223. John and Jesse are here from Waterloo Records. Good to see you again. Good Busy to see week, you. huh? Yes, we got a lot. We do. Where are we going to start? Oh, this is a really cool one that almost didn't get released. Uh, Danger Mouse and Sparkle Horse, Dark Night of the Soul. This is such an artistic, it is a bit dark, it's very emotive, very exciting. Um, a lot of guest artists on this. We have Black Francis, Julian Casablancas, Vic Chestnut, The Flaming Lips, uh, James Mercer of The Shins, Iggy Pop. Lots. They all wrote songs for this album. David Lynch, yeah. filmmaker, right. also on there. Um, but the production and the artistry and the composition is all Danger Mouse and Sparkle Horse. Uh, mm -hmm. Danger Mouse we know from Gnarls Barkley, right, right, right. Uh, Broken Bells. Sparkle Horse is Mark Linkus, who we lost recently, very sadly. Um, so this almost didn't make it to the shelves, and it's a very, there's so much to say about it. Just look yeah. into it, listen to it. It's um, a masterpiece. It it's, really a good, is. it's a masterpiece. Yeah. Okay. We also have Sting. Sting, Symphonicity. This is different, right? This is. This is, uh, he took all of his police and and solo hits, yeah. and uh, they've been orchestrated. Does he own the rights to all that? Uh, he must, obviously, I guess. Well, he and um, Miles Copeland, yeah, yeah. his manager, oh. producer, right, etc., right. so, and an IRS record owner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so some people are going to love it, some people are going to hate it, but I mean, you know, when you also put it in the context of a lot of what we call classical music sure. today is actually just kind of folk melodies that have been orchestrated yep. for uh, symphonies and uh, concertos, etc. But, I mean, the music is, I mean, you know, Roxanne. Yeah. And <laughs> it's, it's, good. It's, it's great stuff. Yeah, and this has a lot of good uh -huh. stuff. He did this for uh, his tour that's going out uh, with his quartet and okay. uh, the symphony. Good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sting. And then we have... Next we have M.I.A. MIA. Yeah, this one, uh, she's playing ACL Fest, one of the top artists. Um, this is a heavy, heavy electronic album. Uh, she's drawing our attention to these political ideas, a little bit uh, dark and worldly, a little, little deeper than most would like, but mm -hmm. you know, it's a very good record. It's uh, already got the highly controversial video online, but yeah. you, you know, check it out. She mixes dub and hip hop sounds. Uh, her Sri Lankan roots show up on this album a lot. Mm. Um, it's very interesting. We're going to have a listening party today, That's today for this album, as well as a, a band called Carissa's Weird. We're having a double oh, listening great. party with pizza. Double party at So one. come That's and right. check it out. Five mm -hmm. And we're going to have 7-inch. Right. Um, when you buy the new MIA or the right. new Carissa's Weird, you have a 7-inch record during the pizza party. Very you good. Get little 45 that. RPM yeah. love. Yeah. Super. Okay, and then we have... <laughs> Next up, we have Red Horse. Yeah. And this is a folk super group, if you will, with Austin's own Eliza Gilkison, right. John Gorka, and Lucy Kaplansky. Yeah. And um, kind of in the, the realm of, like, Monsters of Folk or mm -hmm. Crosby, Stills, sure. Nash, people sure. that were really doing great in their own career and their own bands kind of come together. And uh, they have... Different artists covering the songs of the people that made them, like oh, John sure. Gorka doing yeah. Eliza Gilkis and yeah. vice versa, and uh, they, besides some unreleased stuff. So it's, it's really cool. And they, hmm. they all came together because they were all on the Red House record yeah. label. Yep. And that's the Red Horse. Uh -huh. Okay, that's out today. Mm -hmm. You've got Crowded House. A right? new Crowded House new record. Cr they've been around for Who a doesn't love Crowded House? Everybody <laughs> loves Crowded House. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is just true to their classic Crowded House sound. I still play the self-titled album to this day. Really? It's a great album. This is as well. Uh, still love Neil Finn's storytelling. Still love his voice. is just yeah, as pristine different. as ever. Um, they're about to come through town. They're going to play Stubbs uh, August 4th. Oh, and great. I will be there. Okay, so Crowded House is out today. Quickly, yeah. we right. have a couple of in-stores coming yeah. up. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have the Flush Tones. Right. And uh, they were uh, police IRS record label mates right, back right. in the uh, 70s and 80s. And um, so that's tomorrow at 5 p.m. Come uh -huh. check out the Flush Tones. And then uh, Monday, the Henry Clay people will yep. be playing Waterloo, Indie Rock Stars. And uh, they play with Silver Sun pickups that night at Stubbs. Is this the new Henry Clay, too? Yep. That's it. All right. Henry Clay people. So some yep. good in-stores as well. Well, good time mm -hmm. to get down to Waterloo. All right. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Chris. You That's your new Music Tuesday. We're